this morning, more allegations against disgraced former U.S. Speaker of the House Dennis Hastert. A lawsuit just filed in Kendall County accuses him of abusing a boy as young as nine years old back in the 1970s. CBS 2's Lauren Victory is live in the newsroom with more on these accusations. Lauren, fill us in. Well, Vince, Dennis Hester now has another court date to add to his calendar. That would be Tuesday the 30th in Kendall County. It's not clear if he'll appear since he's currently in federal lockup in Minnesota. Hester is serving a 15-month sentence related to a bombshell case that first came down in May 2015. That's when the Fed said the ex-congressman committed banking crimes while trying to cover up his abuse of teenage boys. Those sexual allegations stemming from from his time as a coach at Yorkville High School. Now, this just filed lawsuit claims Hastert abused another victim. Court documents obtained by Kendall County Record allege that the politician forced himself on a nine or ten year old boy in a Yorkville High School bathroom in the early 1970s. The victim says he didn't know who Hastert was, but a few days later, quote, Hastert warned plaintiff against reporting the attack, threatening that Hastert's father was the sheriff and if plaintiff told, his parents would be put in jail, end quote. The suit also claims the victim tried to report the crime to the Kendall County State's Attorney's Office years later. It alleges prosecutors, quote, threatened to charge plaintiff with a crime and accused him of slandering Hastert's name. The victim is looking for $50,000 in damages related to mental and emotional distress. The lawsuit names Hastert as the defendant, but also indicates Yorkville High School might be sued, too. We reached out to Hastert's attorney, but haven't heard back. Live in the newsroom, I'm Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. Vince. Thanks for that information, Lauren.